What's up, y'all? It is Bella, back testing with Bella, Trading Bay. Today, I am going to show you guys how to use order blocks as supply and demand, and also how to use order blocks plus try entries to enter and exit in your trades. So, I'm going to be looking at US 30. Go ahead and get to US 30. By the way, before I get into this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel get to the next level. So I'm going to be going into back testing mode. I'm going to be starting far, far back. Yeah, I know what I'm saying, far back. So replay mode from this area. I am going to be using the 15, 5, and 2 minute chart. So this is intraday trading. So what I'm going to start with is the definitions. So order block is basically formed at a swing low or a swing high. At a swing low order block, it can be considered a demand area. Meaning that it will be buyers in that area. At a swing high for the block, it can be considered as a supply area, meaning that it will be sellers in that area. So this is basically what a order block is. A order block is formed at a swing low or a swing high. At a swing low order block, it is a demand area. It means that buyers are going to step in, which is how you would know how to buy into a trade. Or at a swing high, it is a supply area. It means that sellers are going to step in and that's how you would know how to take sales in that area. So I'm going to point out a swing low here. So at this area here, this is a swing low, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see more clear. This is a swing low. Also, I am going to write in the text, swing low. So it makes it a positive order block. Also makes it a demand area. Buyers are stepping in. So, let me make this bigger. So, starting from this point here, you guys can see this candlesticks created a bullish order block. At this bullish order block, you guys see pretty much how the chart started to buy up. So it basically went into a bullish trend and I'll make that line a different color. Make that line yellow. So you guys pretty much see how buyers stepped in at this bullish order block. Now I'm going to find a swing low in the market. I mean, I'm gonna find a swing high, my bad y'all, swing high. So here is a swing high. Let's make this a bit smaller and stop being so dramatic. Alright, so this is a, considered a swing high in the market. It means that it can be a supply area. So if you guys know supply and demand, you guys know that supply is where sellers are stepping in. And then you guys know at a demand area is where buyers are stepping in. So this is how I use order blocks. I kind of use it as supply and demand areas, which is ICT concept. 
Now I'm gonna get into showing you guys how to use strat entries with it in a second. I'm just defining what order blocks is and how you can find them in the live market. So that's what I'm doing in this area. So at a swing high is the supply, sellers are stepping in. So you guys see here, this is a swing high in the market where that blue line, blue S is. And then you guys pretty much see how sellers stepped in and the market went back towards sell side liquidity. So now, when you are adding strat entries, you kind of want to add in your strat combo sheet to see what combination is coming up to see when it's best to enter into your trade. So back down here at this demand area at 34199 where I said a bullish demand area, buyers are stepping in. As soon as this candle would have went two up, I would have entered into a trade for buys. So here is area at this orange line here. Once my candlestick went two up, you could have entered in for buys because it is bouncing from this bullish order block, meaning that buyers are stepping in. Vice versa for a supply area at a bearish order block at a swing high. So as soon as this third candle, which would be an entry, had went to down, you could have entered in for sales over here at this point. I can't find the perfect color for y'all. <laughs> so here in this area, you could have entered in for sales. All right, so I will show you guys a couple of examples on how you can use order blocks as supply and demand plus strat entries to buy and sell in the market. So from this area here, I'm going to look for the next upcoming order block. All right, so you guys can see a 15 minute bearish order block has formed. So I'm going to mark this here. to put so basically you guys know here at a swing high and a swing high point has formed and there's going to be a sell-off it's going to form a bearish order block so that's going to imply that it is supply in this area meaning that there's also sellers in this area so what I'm looking for now is a sell-off so I'm gonna go down to the five minute chart on the five minute chart I am going to wait until it starts trading below 34.63 okay so from here this is going to be an entry for me so my entry would be as soon as this next candle goes two down which is using this track I would then enter into my trade. So here is an entry. So at the next swing low would be my target. I will have a lower target. And then I'm also going to have one more target going towards the lowest swing low, which is here. It's not exactly the lowest swing low, but those will be my targets. Now, I would have my stop loss right back above the swing high. So if it was to start trading above 34.377, then I would be cut out of my trade. But for now, I am in for sales.
So you guys see how a 15 minute order block had formed. I went down to the five minute chart to see precisely what was happening. I did use strike entry once it went two down and it never hit my stop loss and it did go to my target. So from here, I would exit my trade because it is at a bullish fair value cap, but that is a video for a whole other day. So now I'm going to go back to the 15 minute chart and I'm going to look for a bullish order block to form, which will also be considered a demand area, which will also let me know that buyers are potentially stepping in so I can buy into the market. So let me just go ahead and clear my chart. That was example one. So here you guys see on my 15 minute chart, a bullish order block has formed. bullish order block, which lets me know it's a demand, which also tells me that there's buyers in this area. Going back down to the five minute chart. So it's pretty much trading a little bit below the bullish order block. So from here, I'll see how this trade is going to go. I would use my strat entry. So if it was to go two up from this candle, that would be an entry for me. Let's click entry. Targets will be going back towards the swing high. Target. And my stop loss would be just a little bit under this fair value gap because that swing low is too low of a stop loss. So this would be my trade using a bullish order block. So from here, I am going to watch and see how this plays out. Okay, well, that was a whole new day form. So I am going to cut this example and I'm going to look for another one. So we're moving drawings, going back to my 15 minute chart. Okay, so from this area, you guys see on my chart, it's been pretty much a little bit bullish before I'm saying anything, but just now a bullish order block has formed. So if I am entering in from a bullish order block, I am going to enter back past this candle. The bullish order block has formed from this low here. Going back to the five minute chart. I'll let my entry be here. So if this candle goes two up, that will 
be an entry for me. I will then set my targets back towards the previous swing high. Should be here. Here and just one more up, which will be there. Now my stop loss will be just below this swing low. So, so far, two targets has been taken out from our entry point. Third target is almost taken out. Well, that was all targets that was taken out. So, from here, I would cut my trade because it can possibly go back to selling in this area. Well, it didn't, but... It could have possibly went back to selling because it is coming into a bearish value gap. But in this instance, it didn't. So that is my video today on how you can use bullish and bearish order blocks as supply and demand. And also you can use strike entries on knowing how to enter into your trade as a safe entry to profit in the stock market. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back on here next time. Good night.